everyone, it's me X Kuna Dances and today I'm coming with you to share one of the most unbelievable things that I think I will ever receive in the mail, one of the most special packages ever. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big Winx Club doll collector, I absolutely love them, I've been collecting them since I started collecting dolls, they were a big part of that for me, and Winx Club means a lot to me in general, and the dolls specifically are really really special to me. It's always been a pipe dream of mine to get to talk to the creators and express my gratitude to them for the wonderful dolls that they created. Um, when I completed my Jack Specific doll collection last week, it was bittersweet. I was really excited, of course, but on the other hand, I was really sad that it was over. Um, I didn't expect to be coming to you this soon after to update you about a bunch of new Jack Specific dolls that I got, um, but here I am. <laughs> so I got into contact with one of the ex-employees of Jack Specific. I'm not going to say any information about them at all to respect their privacy and respect their wishes. They are a very private person. They do not want to be, um, they just don't want their name out there or anything and I totally respect that. Um, but I got into contact with them and they sold me all, I'm serious, every single prototype and sample Winx thing that they had, except um, some stuff that they wanted to keep, but that was not very much. Um, this was an extremely expensive purchase and I don't think the person has any idea who I am, as if they would, as if they would care. Um, I want to get that out of the way. Um, this was, they were selling them and I was buying them. I also got to interview them, so I'll be doing a separate video about all of that, because I don't really know how to format it, because um, we weren't necessarily, like, it wasn't necessarily an interview, I was just talking to them on the phone, like, they, without me asking, they called me on the phone, like, five separate times, and we talked for hours, and we got to talk about the dolls, and life, and all kinds of stuff, it was, <laughs> I, I know they're a person, obviously. Um, and I always, in my head, I'm like, these are just people, they don't want to be treated like they're above you or anything, but that was really hard for me, so the way that this person was down to earth and kind to me and treated me as an equal was, made that a lot easier. So we talked about so much stuff and a lot about their time working for all these different toy companies and their time with the Winx dolls. I got lots of fun information, answered a bunch of burning questions that I know you guys had too, so I'll be sharing those with you, some in this video and then some in a, in a separate video. So not only did I get to speak to someone who, this is something I've been dreaming about for 10 years, you know, almost 10 years. So not only did I get to speak to one of the people directly responsible, I also get to own many, many pieces of the history of this, these dolls that I love so much. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys today. So, without further ado, I just feel like I have to introduce it and also thank you so much to my mom. As always, she has always been so supportive and helpful with me and um, I would not have been able to purchase this because it was a big, I, it was no joke the amount of money that was paid for this. Um, so I have a big loan out, so you're not going to be seeing me buying dolls for a long time until I get that paid off. Um, anyways, let's get in. The first thing in the box, sorry, the box is already open, but I haven't looked yet. I just wanted to make sure it was all there while the mailman was still there. This was a really expensive purchase. Um, the first thing is this Believe It's Bloom doll. Now, the person that I bought everything from told me that this was a sample doll. Honestly, not sure if this is a sample doll, just looking at her. It could be. Oh, mm, not really sure. I do see tape inside, but it looks like a final product, but I don't really know. Um, but they told me that it was a, like a packaging sample of some sort, or at least one that they had at Toy Fair. Um, a sample doll, or at least one that they had at Toy Fair. Um, I'm inclined to believe them, but even if it's not, the thing that is special about this, and this was actually free, they threw this in for free. This doll is signed by the cast of Nickelodeon Winx. It is missing Alejandro Reynoso and, um, and Kiki Palmer. 
Um, Kiki Palmer is going to be a hard one to find, but I think Alejandro Reynoso I, I will be able to get. Um, so here's Amy Gross, Stella, Molly Quinn Bloom, Morgan Decker Tecna, and Romy James Musa. And then the thing that I'm covering up is the signature of the person that I bought all of this from. Um, I asked them to sign it because they're involved with the dolls. Um, creation so it's pretty cool again I'm trying to respect their wishes so I'm not going to show any of that to you um set her down you wouldn't have been able to read that anyway but I just don't want to disrespect them in any way um so that's all of that next I guess I'll just pull out whatever's in here next Ooh, okay so this is really cool so I gotta put this on. This is so... <laughs> so the story behind this is that um, the Jack Specific team all had to do meeting... I don't know how to put a bow tie on. The Jack Specific team had to do a lot of meetings with um, Ingenio Straffi and the other um, executives for Winx in order to get the dolls approved. Like every time there were new dolls, they had to get them directly approved by Eugenio. Um, and they made these cute bow ties just to, for like a festive fun thing that have the Winx logo on them for every time they went to meet with Eugenio and the other executives, so. <laughs> this is so cool! It's really it's really all hitting me like how crazy this is so this is the bow tie that was worn by the person uh, when they met Eugenia Straffi a bunch of times and also just had um, winks meetings in general <laughs> again I didn't pay for this this was something that they threw in for free um, after we talked they were just like oh I think I have this thing this person was really cool to talk to. Um, next up, this is related to something we're going to get into in a little bit, but it's this little masquerade mask. I think this is actually a modified, actually I don't know. It's definitely a modified piece from an actual release doll. Let me know if you know what it is. It's not Inner Monster. That's what I was thinking. And this is related to a prototype, so I'm going to set it aside. Well, speaking of that prototype, here they are. So this is the, this is one of the full, this is a pre-production, pre-anything sample prototype, of, like an actual handmade prototype doll. Um, they told me that they would often just design Winx outfits and if the team liked them or if they got pushed through, they would be put into the show. So that's what this doll is um, supposed to be. <laughs> oh my God, this is so weird. This is so weird. Um, so basically this is one of the dolls that they created for that purpose. Um, that's what they told me. Um, so this is one of the only complete dolls that's in here. Oh my gosh, okay, so... So I don't really have any information on them, um, on this doll. Unfortunately, they said that they didn't remember, like, what she was for, but they did tell me that if I don't recognize this from the show or any official art, it's probably because they designed um, they designed everything themselves and it could have been put into the show or it could have just been for the doll line. Um, so that's what's going on here. Dude, this is so weird. This is so weird. Is this not weird? <laughs> this is so weird. So this is a hand sewn I believe hand painted? N I can't tell. Certainly hand styled prototype um, of a Misa doll of some sort. And that's where this mask, that's what this is for. So this was clearly going to be some kind of masquerade ball line. God, I wish this came out. Um, she's so cool. So she actually has a different head. If you look, there's a split on the neck. I wonder what that's about. And there's the face. Um, the person that I talked to told me that they hand did the eyelashes and stuff. Like every time they did production, like um, 
prototypes like this just because they thought it added that extra oomph. And they also told me they do little glitters on the corners of the eyes, and she has that. Um, and the lips are super interesting. And I love this outfit. This outfit is really, really good quality. Like, what the heck? But you can see, like, the unfinished edges because it's just a prototype, you know? And um, I believe these are Darling Charming Forever After High shoes. Prototypes often will be wearing, like, other doll line stuff because they're just... Um, they're just a prototype for show to see if they want the doll made or not. And she has these this cute delicate curl and these pin curls. <sighs> this is so weird. This is so weird. Isn't this weird? Um, so this is my unreleased, unknown Musa doll. Um, I really can't remember or recall anything from the show. Ooh, look, hand stitching right there to hold the outfit on perfectly. So the outfit probably doesn't come off, huh? Yeah, it doesn't. So they, they stitched it on so that it would look absolutely perfect on display. So that's that. I am shaking. All right. Um, next, there's something in here. Let's see what we have in here. I don't know. I, I think I know. Okay. So... These are really cool. This is something that I just asked about and they were like, oh yeah, you can have them. So these, oh, they're a lot different than I thought they were. These are official Winx Club stands. These were supposedly at some point planned for, possibly planned for the release. Um, the person I talked to basically told me that they designed these just, um, like, for the showroom models, so I, I need to look at the Toy Fair pictures and stuff to see, or maybe showroom is different, like, that's something to do with when they go talk to the executives, like, IGO and stuff. Um, but these are the official stands, all molded and everything, for that. So I'm kind of interested in getting into resin and molding these. The person that I bought these from gave me full permission to do that. Um, obviously they can't officially give me permission or anything, but like I said, they were like giving me tips, so I feel inclined to do that. Um, it's very interesting that there's this to hold it up better. It's very smart. Um, and I'm gonna put Musa on the stand. Look at that! <sighs> okay. God, this is one of like a hundred things in this box, so... Maybe like 50 things, sorry. Alright, there's Musa on her official Wink stand. And there's three of them in here, I think. They go to the first thing that I purchased. Um, so I only have three, but that only have three. I'm probably going to put my um, Comic-Con dolls on here. Oh, fun fact, the actual designers behind most of the Winx lines um, do not did not work on the Comic-Con dolls, like, at all. They were not. Well, maybe Daphne, but not the original Comic-Con dolls. They said that was a completely separate group. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, ooh, okay, so this is another unreleased thing that I don't think anybody even knew about. Um, I saw it in the picture and was like... And he was like, oh yeah, we were gonna do that. So, um, this is a... Ooh, hand-painted. This is a Flora head for a 17 inch Flora doll. Ooh, it's got that rough prototype thing going on in there. Oh man, I was hoping to put it on a body. I'll still see if I can figure it out. Um, but it's a 17 inch Jack specific Flora head, hand painted. Um, I'm gonna insert really nice pictures for you. I'll cut away and show them. But this is, this is interesting. It's like a whole prototype. I, I, for some reason I thought this was like a vinyl head. That's really cool. It's really crazy how good, I know they're like professional artists and stuff, but how factory their hand-painted um, stuff is. And then here is the wig for that Flora doll. No peg or anything, it's just like a plastic wig cap like most doll brands do. The hair is super soft, nice quality. So these got cancelled for one, one reason or another. I do think it's interesting that this Flora has like the, the budget face paint. So that's what the 17 inch Jack specific Flora doll would have looked like. Uh, I'm gonna ask them, cause maybe they know what transformation or what outfit that was gonna be. And then also I can confirm that Stella was planned because does this not appear to be a Stella wig with the ponytails and stuff? It could just be that the dolls were gonna come with wigs and you could mix and match them or something, but I'm 
inclined to believe this is Stella related. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm, they told me that Bloom, Stella, and Flora were planned, so. Um, and then there's another, um, here's just a Darcy brush. I don't know. Or, this is Stormy. No, this is Darcy's. Um, Darcy's a brush. I don't know if this is a prototype or just something they had lying around. I'll have to compare it to mine. Or, not a prototype, that would be a sample. Alright, here's another thing. So this is an actual sample. This isn't a prototype. He told me, well, he told me samples like are prototypes. They're just different. Whereas prototypes are like hand painted or hand molded or something. This is a sample. So it's actually created in the factory. But this is an unreleased Stella. Um, the person that I took... The person that I talked to did not know um, what almost any of these dolls were meant to be because it's been so long and this is just another day at the job for them, you know? Um, but the hairstyle is really nice and soft. I really like this. Um, this doll's really pretty. Again, I'm pretty sure that's factory. I just, it's hard to tell. They told me it would be very obvious if it's factory or not, so I hope it is. Okay, so this bag is a bag of heads. So let's get into it. First off, an unreleased Aisha head. Interesting. So this is a deluxe doll with the glitter and stuff. Um, no idea what this one was intended to be. The pink streaks kind of clue me in. Like, what if this was meant to be Believix, but um, Believix Aisha didn't have bangs. She had like a, I don't know. Um, again, I'll insert better pictures, so don't worry. Um, next, I really wish that they could have told me what this doll was meant to- Interesting, there's actually a ball in here to hold the shape. Um, this is a Stella with this really beautiful red tinsel in the hair and bright red lip. Almost looks like this one. No, very different. This one's super pretty. Oh, I kind of want to take the hair down, but I can't. Um, but this is so pretty, right? Like, what's going on here? Next. Ooh, interesting. So this one actually has um, something written on the back. It says R, and then they've cut the neck hole. Um, and the hair is super interesting. I think that's why she's in a hairnet. Um, it's really hard, but like, I wonder what this was planned for. Like, I don't know. Also, what does the R mean? I'll have to ask them what the R means. And this is not hand painted. This is an actual factory sample again. So the factory samples, I'm going to be putting on bodies so that they can be displayed because they're just like a normal release doll. But the hand painted stuff, I'm going to treat a lot differently, um, obviously. <laughs> All right, next up is another very interesting one with a very interesting hairstyle. This is a bloom. This is also a sample. She's got these crazy braids, um, and it appears this is intentional because there's a hairnet, and the braids are all in loops, and she has these blue streaks in the swoopy situation here. Yeah, there's more heads, so I'm gonna set this one aside for a minute. Um, here's a Tecna with long hair. No idea what this one was meant for. She has a very interesting head. It's like, she's like hand sealed, but she doesn't look hand painted. She's got that cut in the back of the neck. I wonder if that was so they could swap them onto bodies faster or something. Um, her hair is super um, nice and well styled. It's This would make a really nice, like, because Believix Techna kind of has longer hair. And... Alright, next up is another Stella with super interesting hair. It's blonde with orange and red streaks. Yeah. Um, budget line face. Not hand painted. This is a sample. Very swoopy. Very cool. Ooh. 
yeah, I remember this one. This is one of my favorites. Unfortunately, again, they didn't know what these were meant to be, but clearly they were supposed, or this doll was supposed to have pigtails. Um, this Aisha with blue all throughout, and then she also has a letter. This is G. Who even knows? Maybe the ones near each other in the alphabet are related somehow. But this is A, so Aisha would be G. But what's your letter? L. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but this one's super pretty. Also an actual factory sample glitter makeup, so I'm inclined to believe that it's a deluxe doll. Who knows? Alright, next up is another Tecna. Um, also factory, and this is a really unique... Um, color scheme on the eyes and she has this like white streak in the front and then purple just like two different colors of purple here and then just normal techno color I don't know who she's supposed to be obviously I know it's techno um, and then this really out there techno with this like techno color hair you know I haven't looked at the color splash dolls in a while is that what some of these are. I'll have to look. Uh, I don't know. Very neat though. I love this French braid and this fluorescent pink and this purple. This is really, this is a really out there one. Like, I don't know about this one. Um, then this one, oh, it's Flora. This is a Flora with just pink, just straight up pink hair. It's all styled and everything. what this one's meant to be. Um, I'll have to compare my, the makeup to some of the current Flora dolls, or the actual released Flora dolls. Her hair is super soft, oh my gosh. And she doesn't have a sample letter on her. I don't know if that means anything. Really cool. I really wish that the person that I bought these from still remembered what um, they all are. Okay, so this one's, I'm gonna save this one. Just like that Musa, putting her aside. Um, looks like there's some more heads in here, so we'll get into this bag. See, this is another Flora. This one has a bit of an issue, unfortunately, which is such a shame, because she has such cool, um, hair. Um, it smells like, like, nail polish sealant or something. This isn't a hand-painted one, so I'm not really sure why this is happening, but she has, like, this horrific shine. I, I do know about this. I did know about it in the pictures and stuff. Um, and it's, she actually has the same makeup as this one. So were these like two options? Yeah, I think I have two prototype options for whatever doll this was going to be. That's really interesting. But unfortunately this one has the shiny face. Um, so that's why the seller bagged them separately for me. Um, and then, ooh, this is really cool. Now I'm inclined to, no, 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 no. You know who I think this is? Is this Daphne Sirenix? Does she have pink streaks or am I crazy? Doesn't she have pink? I'm gonna put an annotation in if I'm stupid, but like this isn't Stella's face at all. It looks... I'll have to ask them. How cool. And she's got this big um, tab. Is this Daphne? This is a whole sample too. This isn't a prototype hand painted or anything. I don't know. I say Daphne, oh my God, Darcy. So this one's really cool. So this is a hand-painted prototype. I'll show you a picture. Um, and what's really cool about this one is that I'm pretty sure it's one of the options for this doll. I'm not really sure though. She does have one of those sample marks on her. It's really, really pretty. I don't know. She's decently similar. Definitely angrier. 
really like this one, but again, another mystery. But another one that's in here that is pretty cool. Oh wait, okay, so this, this is not, okay, I'm confused, sorry. So, how was your, her hair's in a big updo. I have two dark C's. <laughs> um, So this is the Dark Sirenic sample here, clearly. And she has an N on her. This is very obviously the one that they went with. Like, almost the same. The It's slightly different, but... So this is the one that they went with, for sure. And then there's this hand-painted one. I have no idea what this one is meant to be. Um, originally, I thought this was some kind of budget line, um, good versus evil type Darcy, um, but now I don't really know. Um, and that brings me to this one, which is a Stormy. Um, also hand-painted. Let's see. Yeah, it's this doll. Wow, they didn't change Stormy much at all. The lip color is slightly different. Please excuse my Stormy's hair. I've had her for a long time and I do not know how to take care of it. Um, it looks like they didn't originally plan these things in Stormy's hair, because they're not there. This is a hand-painted prototype here. Pretty cool, so I have the hand painted for Stormy. And then right here we have, this one's kind of interesting. This is just straight up a sample of Believix Power Stella. Um, I'll have to compare her with mine to see if anything's different. But you know. Another Believix Power Stella. Can't hurt. <laughs> I love Believix Power Stella. Alright, there's some more stuff in this bag. Okay, so I can show you this one. I don't know what this doll is at all. The makeup is absolutely gorgeous though. Not hand painted, just a sample. And then this doll is pretty unreal. So, officially I was told that this is Harmonix Musa's hand painted prototype. Unfortunately, the seller does not have the clothing or the wings or the doll or the samples anymore. Um, they did have them at one point, but um, they no longer do. So this is Harmonix Musa. I'm going to have to really try to figure out how the heck to <laughs> make this doll um, look exactly like the factory one. Um, this is one of the most ridiculous things. I know everything in here is amazing. A lot of it's unreleased, a lot of it's hand-painted, a lot of it's a sample. No matter what, it's all related to this thing that I love, but like... After all these years, somebody has one, and somehow it's me? Um... Yeah, so this is Harmonix Musa by Jack Specific! Um, and this is what the hand-painted looked like. I love her lips specifically. Um, this one, I really don't know. Her hair is really cool though. She has that weird shiny face as well. I don't really know what that means. It could just be the material that they happen to use for that head. Um, and she's on a body that feels... Yeah, it's a different, ooh, it's a prototype body. You hear that? That's not normal. So this is some sort of prototype body. Interesting. Her head is certainly vinyl though, um, and her hairstyle is very neat. I'm gonna leave the hairnet on though. Um, this doll will be able to be fully displayed. Uh, I'll probably just make her Enchantix or something. Just, she's very pretty. Go ahead, no, I can't redo her hair, so she won't be Enchantix. We'll see. Um, 
and then the rest of the bag here is an Aisha with some really cool hair um the Jack Specific never actually released any dolls with this style of hair so this is pretty cool and this one's marked AC and she is a just full-on sample really really cool I love her face it's interesting that so many of these are like the budget face, but maybe they did the samples in the budget face. I was told that the budget line dolls are actually printed by a completely different process. I think they're stamped and the deluxe dolls are airbrushed. I was told, confirmed that that's the case. So that's why the budget dolls look different. Um, this doll is really cool. This is one of my favorite ones that I saw. This is just a sample, but man, is she dirty. Um, but look at her and look at her hairstyle. I have no idea what was planned for these and I really wish that I knew or at least that they knew or had some recollection because this this is pretty cool I don't know if this will mean anything to anyone else because this isn't a true prototype but what this is what is this so you see like the tape on there this was the body that the person that I bought this from used to drape patterns when they were like designing them for the dolls. Um, well, they told me like the team used it, so I don't really know. I'm sure they had more bodies, but this isn't necessarily a prototype in of itself, but it's a really cool part of the production history and stuff. And they cut the net peg off. I assume like they would just slide heads right on, you know, just to be like, look, there we are. Okay, next. Um, and then these shoes, they're weird. They don't look right. They look, I mean, they could just be monster hot. Oh, okay. Well, uh, they look 3D printed, but they have Winx X's on the bottom. So I'm inclined to believe these are Winx shoes. I know they certainly aren't official released Winx shoes. So I can't even begin to tell you what I think they go to, but this is pretty cool. And I don't even recognize them a little bit, but like, uh, I guess I have actual prototype shoes. Unexpected. <laughs> that was one of the things this lot doesn't really have is like um, prototype accessories. It's a lot of dolls and head, or a lot of heads. Um, all right. In this bag was the original thing that I purchased. These are really cool. So the person that I bought everything from said that these were one of the coolest things that, like, I asked them what their favorite um, doll that came out was, or doll in general was, and they said these, so this is pretty cool. Um, these are the Dark Cyphernix dolls, and what's really special about these is if you look, they have cool tentacles. So there was a picture, ooh, ooh, her hair is soft. That is not the same as the actual release doll. Ooh, no, no, it's not. Um, if you look, if you're like familiar with, if you were around at the time, pictures of these dolls came out, I think after the release with these cool tentacles that were like prototype pictures. And everyone was like, they don't look like that. They came with these goofy butterfly wings. I'll put a picture. stupid but they said that Toys R Us would not take the dolls without the butterfly wings and they said that the dolls look too angry so that's why their faces changed so I see originally had an open mouth smile this one actually doesn't seem to though anyway this is a factory sample of icy with the tentacles pretty similar doesn't have the open mouth smile but that's fine but the designer did explain to me why they don't have the open mouth smile um and her outfit is different actually it's a different color but like this is so cool um so there's icy so that's a sample doll with the prototype tentacles on she told me only five sets of those tentacles were made um uh, around that anyway um, next up is Stormy. Again, really close to the actually released doll, but that's fine because I have the hand painted one, so. <laughs> um, and her outfit is also pretty different. And again, the sample. Cool tentacles. I really love the tentacles. So cool. The vinyl and the crown is actually a different color and stuff. Like, there's 
there's definitely differences from the final release. It's so interesting. All right, so there's Stormy. And then last, oh, <laughs> one of Stormy's little bracelets came off. And then last, but certainly not least, is Miss Darcy. Darcy's one of my favorite tricks by appearance. She's so pretty. Oh, and again, her hair's so much nicer than the final release. And let's see how she compares to the release. Almost identical, if not identical. Again, these are samples and these were like laid down the pipeline samples, but they have the tentacles that were changed at the last possible second into those goofy butterfly wings. Um, the person I talked to said that one really had to do it literally at the last possible second. They just doodled a design and sent it off to the factories to get made because Toys R Us was can't like going to cancel these dolls if they didn't do it. So they had to do it right then. Again, I have lots of fun tidbits like that to share with you guys um, when we do like the interview video. I just felt like saying random stuff about the, the office and stuff wouldn't fit in this video. Last, but absolutely 1000% not least, this is so, so cool and crazy. Um, this is a whole prototype of something that never came out, never even leaked. And um, they told me that they didn't mold this, that the sometimes the Chinese factories would do the molds and then send it to Jax for, to show it to the Winx execs and stuff or to see if they wanted it um, pushed through or not. So, and they told me all six, or they told me seven of these were made, like seven characters. We all know which seven, but I have one, and this is the only one that anybody knows where it is right now. This is Serena the Selkie, made of clay. This is like a, the actual mold. And it's, it's clearly dried, like it's been cooked and everything. It's articulated too. Um, officially, or originally, the Cyrenix dolls were going to come with Selkies. Um, also, I don't know for sure, it's Serena, I'm just pretty, pretty confident because she has like the molded on flames and the shape of the hair and stuff. I'm not going to do anything to this figure. This is going to go in a display case and never touch air again. I, this is really crazy. It's just the actual, like, original prototype mold that was going to be used in the production of a toy that ended up not coming out so this is just a whole unreleased prototype mind-boggling this this stage in the prototype production is like I've never even like seen something like this from a doll line before so this is really crazy and yeah <laughs> that's it for my box here this has been one of the most incredible experiences um, of my life and I'm so excited and grateful to have been given the honor and opportunity to give all of this stuff a new forever home um, and just to be able to talk to the somebody that was a part of this thing that makes me so happy it's just really unreal <laughs> um, and I'm really glad I get to share it with you guys so I'm not really gonna ask you any questions to comment because I'm sure you'll have some on your own uh, but I want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching and thanks for being on this journey with me. I hope this was a fun and interesting video for you guys. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. For real this time. Bye.